Hello guys, I wanted to uh, make this quick video to uh, show you why you're having to run the throttle trim all the way down to get your ESC to arm on a Spectrum radio and uh, perhaps a better way to do it. Um, so I've seen where guys run their throttle trim all the way down and then arm it they can arm their ESC that way and the reason why is um, they're changing the uh, throw on the throttle channel to 129 percent negative and the reason why that works is that on a spectrum from 0 to 100 is 400 microseconds it's 400 microseconds up and it's 400 microseconds down with a neutral of 1520. So it goes from uh, 1120 to 1920. And some ESCs want to see one millisecond or a thousand microseconds to 2000 microseconds. That's, that's what everybody's used as a standard pulse width since the 1960s, late 1960s. But Spectrum, they make 100% travel plus or minus 400 microseconds so that you have uh, some extra movement that you can use. If you've trimmed your airplane and your, your trim is off center, like on your rudder, when you move your rudder, it can go past 100%, which means your servo keeps moving as long as you're moving the stick until it hits a stop. And if they were to set it to where it used the full travel, the servo would stop before your stick gets to the limit. So this gives you some overrun so that you get equal throw either side of where you have set the center. Of course, it's not good to offset your servos from center because your servo arms need to be perpendicular to your push rods. That's why we use sub trim to get them centered so that we can keep our trims at, at center at zero. So anyway, uh, looking at the math of this, if it's 400 microseconds to 100%, and let's see if I can get this to pull up. 129% uh, times 400 is 516. Well, so if we go over one, five, 1520 minus 516 is 1004. Well, that's really close to one millisecond. So the ESC is going to like that. But what are you doing on the other end? Um, on the spectrum radios, the trim only affects the idle end. It doesn't affect the full throttle end. So it still goes to 100% up instead of 29% less than 100% like it does on all your control surfaces. So going back to um, here, <clears throat> so if we take the uh, 1520 and add 400 to it, see there's your 1920. So the spectrum transmitter is not taking you all the way to 2000 microseconds. It's 80 microseconds short. Well, that's probably close enough to make the ESC happy. Um, you can get it to calibrate um at that probably if it's can be calibrated some escs can't be calibrated and you have to set the pulse width to match the esc but at any rate so you're gonna go from uh 1004 which is almost perfect to 1920 which is only 80 microseconds shy so yeah you're getting real close to that one to two millisecond range but if you go back to your transmitter, now you've got this minus 100 that's going to be sitting here forever. Whereas all your other trims are at zero, or hopefully they are. Hopefully you adjust your push rods so that you can center your trims and put your servos back to center. But at any rate, I'm OCD and I don't, I don't like looking at this minus 100. I would rather have my trim at zero where it's supposed to be. So... 
if we put it here and we go into the model adjust and servo setup and go to travel, if we set these to, let's see, yeah, it's talking to me. If we set this to 125, and then set this one, let's see if I go the right way. I'm not used to the IX14 screen. The DX is what I've always had, but all right. So now we've got 125 up and down. And so now we've got uh, 500 microseconds. So when we move it, move the throttle, it goes 125 down, 125 up, and the trim is centered. And so now, let's see, see there's the, 400 percent times or 400 times 125 percent there's your 500 so now you're going down to 1020 which is only 20 microseconds off of what the perfect pulse width would be and 1520 plus 500 is 2020 so instead of being 80 microseconds off we're only 20 microseconds off and our trim is centered and it looks great. So rather than run the trim down, change the travel to 125% and everything will look perfect when you look at the main screen of the transmitter. And the ESC will see a signal that's within 20 microseconds of perfect at idle and mid stick and full throttle anyway i guess that's it for now um have fun <laughs>